talk a little bit about the moment in which you're making this film. I know you've said in the past that 10 or 20 years ago, this would have been a very different movie. You may not have, not have even made this movie because sex wasn't nearly as prevalent as it is today. I'm wondering if you can address this sort of social context of the film. Sex has always been quite prevalent. Um, <laughs> but um, Accessible, maybe. Well, that is the, is the main point. I mean, the fact that of, of the internet and, 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 and the whole idea of, um, you know, I mean, I think there's interesting conversations ab about sort of, you know, um, films in the early part of the 70s and uh, dealing with sort of having a lot of sexual content. It's very different now in the sense of the way that, you know, you could press two buttons on your iPhone or your iPad or your computer and be into a very graphic sort of uh, sex w website. So the argument about sort of uh, um, Midnight Cowboy or Last Tango in Paris or Deep Throat and all that kind of stuff compared with shame is, uh, is irrelevant because I think people see the more graphic sort of images than that we'll ever see, has ever seen in, in history of, 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 of imagery. So therefore shame as, as far as films are concerned and other films like this can actually deal with the seriousness of sexual relationships. And I think that, that's where cinema can actually come in and, 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 and take a lead in a way. You know, and you talk about Last Tango in Paris, of course, this film uh, is, is, has already been given an NC-17 and will be released that way. Uh, Last Tango in Paris was, was given at the time what was the most severe rating in, in an X, but it, but it is coming out in a very different climate, and I'm wondering if each of you can address how you think the rating uh, will or won't affect how the film is, is received out in the marketplace. I mean, I think there is an opportunity, and, and we hope through the box office that our hopes are proven to be... Um, to be true, I guess, our hopes um, for the audience and that you can sort of maybe reclaim this certificate and say, well, you know, this is a film for adults. It's not, it's not a PG-13 film. It, it is a film for people to engage with and debate and, and you know, holding up a sort of mirror to, to contemporary society. So if, if, if the NC-17 means it's a film for adults, then we should have that as a badge of honor and we should and move forward on that basis. Steve, what do you make of the ratings? Uh, yeah, I, I think the internet actually has moved this this debate on. This is, you know, it's this is an old-fashioned debate in 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 a way, but just because of the internet um, and and the how you can access certain kinds of sexual imagery very very easily. Everyone can, you know. I remember when I was growing up in Britain, uh, you know, to, to, to the nearest thing I came to pornography as a, as a young kid was just looking up at a top shelf of, of a new news agency, a news agent, sort of virtually breaking my neck to look up. Um, now it's, it's it's very easy. So it's a very old-fashioned debate. I think NC17 is 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 um, uh, a certificate a certificate where it's uh, it's it's okay. I mean it's 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 adult responsible content. I think that's what our film is. It's mainly the main thing about shame is that it's it's responsible. It's yeah. not about someone being shot with a, with a gun. I've never held held a gun in my hand in my life. So, well, and, know, and that's the inevitable bizarre. double, and that's the double standard, right? At least here in this country, we talk about the ratings and things that, that an R-rated film can get away with as far as violence, uh, but you certainly can't get away with anything close to that in terms of sex. I know a lot of filmmakers have weighed in on that kind of uh, very critically. D do you have a take on sort of that double standard, or do you think there is a double standard? I mean, obviously there is, and um, we seem to be more used to violence uh, than, 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 than something that the you know, majority of us do on, on a regular basis, sex. It's, it's kind of odd. Oh, <sighs>